All right, shalom. Again, brothers and sisters, we lost a little communication with uh, Hite uh, Salamawi, who was reasoning on the gospel, the good news, uh, his majesty's testimony, and when his majesty met with Kennedy. Hopefully the sister will come forward in. If, if this is a short vid right here, if she calls forward, when she calls forward, and we can continue, we'll, we'll pick up to where we, left, um, where we left off on that particular reasoning. Here is this, this wonderful site right here, right? Um, this particular site right here put up by uh, Lidge uh, Yifty. Right, Rastafari uh, Renaissance, and no doubt, let's see if we can get this a little straighter over here. Right, um, right, here's the site right here, okay, on Rastafari Renaissance, right, um, very important Padasha, Padasha site right here, something that we have been wanting to even work on, but we're so happy, and, and, and this is just a, such a blessing to, um, you know, to uh, see I and I, you know, to see I and I brothers and sisters, you know, continuing in the testimony of his imperial majesty and putting together these uh, sites out there on the Internet and other forms of ministry activity which can further, um, which can further uh, disseminate, in other words, sow the seed of, you know, the word of God in Christ so that, you know, it's the education that's so important. All these things we should have been educated in, you know what I mean, from little children. But the good news is that when we receive the testimony of Kedamawi Haile Selassie, when we receive his majesty's testimony, right, we are like little children, right? We are born as little children. That's according to John chapter, you know, John chapter 1. And it's based on that name, right? Based on that name. Um, we see that very clearly within the scriptural um, and prophetic and, and biblical uh, witness right there. And so this is the meaning. You know, the cross, for a lot of us, we look at the crucifixion and the lynching of the, bl of, of, of the, black, uh, of the black man and of the black family. Let's see if we can... Um, if we can line this up right here, of the black man and the black family. But we need to understand this, right, in terms of, in the terms of the gospel, in terms of, of, of the, divine, the divine word and the divine uh, testimony. And the testimony of his majesty in Christ, it is quintessential, right? It is, it is the essential matter for us. I mean, at such a, at such a personal, right, at such a personal level. Now, what I was giving testimony to, and, and it, was just, it was just like a, a, flow of, a flow of water, a flow of a river, right, was the fact that this, uh, for example, this right here, the gospel of him, right, or the goal of him, right, basically contains just the pure and the unadulterated words of his majesty concerning Christ, Right, which I think are, which I know are so essential for I and I. I've gave the testimony before. I'll give it again that even myself personally, what I grew up with as a black man, and and even from a churchy or a Christian family, right, and going to church, it didn't have any resonance on me until I read and became acquainted with the teaching of Hylas Elias, with the testimony of His Majesty, with Ethiopia. You know, it, it, it caused me to say, wait, that is not like the lies and the slanders and the confusion, the hypocrisy. Something is very pure, right? Something is right. This, this is a resonance in my heart and not my mind, right, with what Kedemar, we have Selassie, with what Selassie, I, as many of us have said and many of us still say, with what his majesty, right, the king of kings, has said. Now, many of us just stop there, and we just keep it on, say, a level, say, such as the cover right here, that, okay, it's his majesty, it's not these other Christs, but we don't go deeper into the word, right? And the deeper part is that word, is that testimony of Hila Selassie, right? And I've often mentioned the speech on religion, you know, where his majesty speaks on religion. I've also mentioned... Um, there is the Osman, the, the, the Osman Hoffman interview. Now, many would say, well, 
Th- that means his majesty is a Christian, so we should be Christian, but yet we know that there's something more. You know what I'm saying? There's still something more to it. Now, some, some actually just basically view his majesty as a, as a good man, as a righteous man, as one who sent the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and basically, in that sense, um, become Orthodox Rastafari or Christian Rastafari, and, and many of them might not fully get it, but at least, they, at least they are in an obedience Right? This is one of the virtue of the Rastafari Orthodox or those Rastafari, you understand, that love his majesty that have found their way to the church. You understand? Because, see, it's the, it's the Ethiopian church of all the churches, or the majority of them, you understand, that is that church triumphant. You see, it's the Ethiopian church, and this is why Ethiopia has gone through, right, all that she has gone through because she represents that church triumphant, what the Bible says, the faith that was once delivered, right, the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Now, Western Gentile Christianity um, is, is, even in some places at best, it is still very immature, it is still lacking because there is a color blindness, right, there is a, there, that color blindness, right, to the color of the cross as well as to the racial identity of the Messiah, to the racial identity of God's people, of John's people. Now, many of us as Rastafari, we might boast in the fact that, well, we black and his majesty is black and the Ethiopians are black, right? And therefore it becomes, I hate to say this, but a fleshy gospel, right? But when you look at the, when you look at, well, how much love, True love do we have for one another. That's the test. That's the key right there. And if we find it difficult because this brother in is like that and this sister is like that and so forth and so on, are we examining ourselves, right? Are we examining ourselves? Are we approving ourselves by ourselves? Or are we submitting right, to his will, to his word, and to his way. Are we truly hearing his word? Are we truly shema? Do we truly shema, mesmat? Do we truly, it says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, by the word of Jah. His majesty, the one who many Rastafari and I and I say is I and I God and king, he says for my part, for his part, right, I glory in the Bible, right? Now, some folks will listen to us and say, well, we like the fact that you preach Christ or the Bible, but, but we just don't get this, the, the Haile Selassie part. He's just, a, he's just a man, you know, or he's just a king of Ethiopia, and, 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 and there's other king of kings and, 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 and so forth and so on. And they don't recognize, and many of us might not recognize, even so, that in itself testifies to what we have here in the B-I-B-L-E, to what we have in the Word, right? If we would only, right, um, repent, right, from our own misunderstanding, from our own translations and interpretation, and really receive what James 1 and 21 says right here. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive. So we got to lay apart all that, other, you know, in Ayabingi, we say, um, you know, um, we cast all these things into the fire of forgetfulness. You know, the chants are so very important when they are overstood Christologically. In other words, when they are overstood from the perspective of Christ in his kingly character. You see, here's where the real people say, it's not a religion, it's a spirituality. It only can become a spirituality for I and I, right, when we take to heart in spirit and in truth his word. When we seek to learn and study this word and his word, I think this is the key verse right here concerning that engrafted word, which is able, the word, right? When my majesty says, for my part, I glory in the Bible. It is, it is that engrafted word, that implanted word, which is able, and I would say, which alone is able to save our soul. What is our soul? Our soul is our mind state. Our soul is our emotional state, is our feelings, our affections, our emotion, our will, 
our will is also connected, right, and is reflected in our soul or in our psychic state, right? And it's the cross, the true cross. You know, when we as Ethiopians and Ethiopian Hebrews speak about the finding of the true cross is the finding of the cross within us, getting that stability right in our souls. And it comes through carrying that cross and following, right, and following the true Son of God, the Bain Ha Elohim. Not following Antichrist, the, the, the so-called Christ of the world, or, or the Jesusism and the, and the pseudo-religiosity that we've heard. And this is not to condemn all churches or whatnot like that, but John knows, and you will know too, who is approved and who is disapproved. Right? Anyone who has truly studied the subject matter of Haile Selassie and Ethiopia right, cannot speak ill of it or against the foundational, the foundational truth. But many do because many have not studied right, and show themselves approved. They, they only know right, the lies that have been taught to them, and they have not studied to find the truth for themselves. Now, we as Rastafari, I think that the reason why, I know the reason why many more do not receive, those who we want to, you know, convince them and persuade them of what we ourselves have been convinced and persuaded, the reason why is that we have not grown up. We are still like little children. The Bible says be children in wrath, right? Be children in wrath, not children in knowledge, right? We can't be childish in this knowledge of the King of Kings. We must be mature, right? So the finding of the true cross is the finding of the cross of Christ within. And we clarify all of this through the teaching, right, of his majesty, through the liberty of his majesty, through the word, sound, and power of the King of Kings and his Christ. And the Bible now becomes that manual. You see, the Bible is the manual of the great Emmanuel. That God is what? What does Emmanuel mean? God is with us. We can see the finding in the finding of the true cross, God is within us, right, of which this is a key. This is a symbol, right? This is a key. This is a symbol. Even on the physical level we touched on, this, is a, this, is, this can be used as a key. You can see this right here. But it's a, it's, it's a symbol of a greater key, right, the key right, to our hearts and our minds and our overcoming um, um, hell, death, right, and the grave, you know, overcoming all of those obstacles, right, the world, the Satan, the devil, the demons, you understand, and casting out of us through the intaking, right, this is one reason why some have a diversion to the Bible, Right, because they already have their devils and demons. And people say, well, we all got our devils. That is just a rationalization of it, right? You know, recognizing like, whoa, I have these in me, so how can I cast out these devils out of me so I can walk the straight and narrow way? It is only through the intaking of the word, right? But we have to be very um, circumspect, like I said, to walk circumspectly and not as fools, Right? And not as fools. Why does his imperial majesty say, why does our God say, right, for my part I glory in the Bible? Why does he answer a question from Oswald Hoffman, right, from Oswald Hoffman? Let's get that question right here, right, from, from the Gohem, right, from the Gohem book right here, right? And this is book one. Right, we're working on book two, but book one, don't worry about book two right now. Worry about digesting book one. Book one is so very important, right? I mean, you can find the same speeches and maybe even more speeches if you search it on the Internet, but here we've compiled it, right? Here we've compiled it all in one place, right? Here we have compiled it all in one place for as, as a pocket-sized book for an easy, direct reference. And here is this. Oz, um, we call it the, the Oswald, Dr. Oswald Hoffman interview, the Lutheran Hour, 1968 Christmas Day, the interview of H.I.M., his Imperial Massey, Hala Selassie first, right? And um, he says right here, the first question is, question, your Imperial Majesty, 
What is it that makes you want to follow Jesus Christ? Now, this is so very important. We, are, we say his majesty is I and I God and King of Kings. This is like the question that, that Yeshua asks concerning um, whose son do you think Christ is? And why does David say, the Lord say to my Lord, the Lord have said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. 